Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where we're back here at Disneyland Paris for our day two vlog. Check out the day one vlog if you haven't already seen it. We had a great day yesterday, oh, didn't we? it was so good. We got on so much. Yeah, saw lots of shows as well and of course enjoying the 30th anniversary celebrations. That continues today. We've got loads more to see and this morning we're starting off here in Walt Disney Studios Park that you can see just behind us. Going to get some more attractions in, some more shows. We're going to go and see The Lion King, Rhythm of the Pride Lands later in Disneyland oh, Park. I love The Lion King, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. You've never seen this show no, before I don't either. I know what to expect. Yeah, and of course tonight we'll check out the penultimate showing of Disney Illuminations and also Disney Delight as well. So lots coming up, so come and join us here on Theme Park Worldwide for some more Disney magic. Well, we're going to be doing another full day today here at Disneyland Paris. Another 14 hour day, how are you feeling? Got to make your money's worth out the tickets. And <laughs> we're going to head firstly down towards Crushy's Coaster. Let's go. We've got a 45 minute wait this morning. Not too bad for Crushy's Coaster. Let's go. It has also got single rider, this attraction. If you do fancy that. We're off on Crushy's Coaster and we've waited 30 minutes. Oh God. Come off Chrissy's coaster, and you can't see much on the POV, but that is an awesome indoor spinning coaster, isn't Honestly, it? Honestly, it is so much fun, and the theme at the beginning for the Finding Nemo is really good. Yeah, it's great, and then making you out the lifter, whether you're forwards or backwards, there's lots of scenery to look at. It's not one of those that if you're looking forwards, you're missing things backwards and the other way. Uh, there's stuff all the way around to see in the dark ride scene, and on the ride, it's like you're on the East Australian Currents, and of course, underneath the water, the it's great. The so good, and it's such a long coaster. It is a great ride in there. I really do like it. Not the best through put on there but you know what I'm pleased with 30 minute wait yeah, this morning. Yeah that's not too bad at all. Yeah even though the park was open this morning for hotel guests it's still worth coming down here and doing rope drop for this attraction because there's no premier access in that time on a morning so the queue's moving a lot quicker exactly, still. Because now it's on like 80 minutes. Yeah fantastic it's an hour for single rider. Back down here into Avengers Campus now we went on flight force yesterday but today we're going on Spider-Man Web Adventures just over here. 10 minutes for single rider 45 for the standby, so we'll give single rider a shot. Watch your step as you enter into the vehicle. Take a seat and put on. Attention à la marche. Utilisez toutes les places disponibles. And we're off. Lisa has Spider-Man. Je suis là, chérie. Vous en êtes tout. Nous sommes en route. Okay, sit back and enjoy your ride until we reach the impending disaster. We're waiting 10 minutes, single rider, and then we got put on together. Because there was no twos.
of the right vehicle. Into the Quinjet hangar. The vehicles on here, they're very cool. There you go, top score in the vehicle. <laughs> Enjoy that, Charlie. <laughs> Some more ride footage there from Spider Man Web Adventure. And yeah, I'm glad we only waited 10 minutes there in single rider. I don't think it's up to the usual Disney standards, as much as it's still a good, fun, interactive ride. A lot of effort, isn't it? <laughs> like, it's just so much effort, like going like this all the time. You get to the end and your arms are hurt. It's not so much that that's a problem for me, it's more the fact that, you know, I wish there was some more props and theming to look at. There is some nice bits however um yeah i just think they could have done a lot more so with that screens. yeah definitely it's one of them though that you know people enjoy it and i think as well the fact with this park it hasn't got another interactive ride in california in their version of avengers campus here. yeah you've got uh, toy story just around the corner and i like that much better uh, yeah so you've got that around the corner i say you know it's just one interactive ride in this park um, which is better in that sense but yeah it's not one of my favorites that one uh, it's once a trip ride from here to disneyland paris and uh, yeah i'm glad we only waited 10 minutes and here we are now, round into Toy Story Playland. We've actually just had another ride on the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, which was absolutely fantastic as always. My favorites, I love it. Check out the day one vlog if you've not already seen it for a POV. But uh, yeah, look at this area. It is nice around here with the theme in. The attractions aren't up so much in this area, in my opinion. Dog Dash in this area. Yes, thank you, Dog Dash. Hollywood Studios. He is there, Slinky. A little flat ride. Toy Soldiers Parachute Drop over there as well. And of course, RC Racer off to the left there. Intamin half pipe coaster. It's not fantastic. You only get about three kind of full cycles back and forward. Yeah, it's actually going. There it is. I do like how RC looks on there, though. The train is fantastic. Nice ears today as well, there from Charlotte. These are actually ears that we got engaged with at Disneyland. These are special ones. Oh, they are really nice. Yeah, it's RC Racer. 45 minutes for three swings, really. I would have liked to have seen a bit more expansion in this area. Originally, Alien Swirling Saucers was coming in as part of an expansion. But no, that's not happening now, sadly. There is going to be a new Tangled flat ride, though, on the new kind of walkway down to the lake. There's going to be an entrance from this area straight onto that new boulevard as well. Oh, I love Rex. But as we make our way down to the bottom here, you got Cars Road Trip, the former studio tram tour that got rethemed into cars a couple of years ago, but that you do still get the fantastic Catastrophe Canyon or Car Catastrophe Canyon as it is now. So we're going to go and check that out. All them cranes make me very excited over there for the world of Arendelle. I'm very excited for Frozen Land. I expect it opening 2025, and of course the new lake round the back just there as well. We've come down here to Cars Road Trip. It's got a 30 minute wait and this attraction is definitely not worth 30 minutes. So we'll come back to this one. I'm Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, Universe Protection Unit. There's a secret mission, Charted Backyard. Your directive, have fun. And just down here, opposite Crush's Coaster, you got the other little cars attraction in this park as well. I do like these little rides. I find them quite mesmerizing watching them, you know, how all the cars interact with each other. It's pretty well themed this, but it does make you miss Cars Land. It can be found, of course, at Disney California Adventure. Fantastic park. We've been there quite a few times now. So make sure you check out those vlogs. We've got a full Disney Parks playlist here on Theme Park Worldwide. I do like the photo ops down here. I'd say that Tomator is probably my favourite down here as well. I'm not forgetting you've also got the flying carpets over Agrabah just down here as well. Where you can sit on board your own flying carpet. I do like this ride. Again, quite controversial. It's one that some people think looks really naff, but I like it. The flying carpet just here. I'm a big fan of Aladdin. And talking to cars, here comes Lightning McQueen, just racing through the park just here. Well, I want to say racing, more going slightly through the park, but still, very impressive to see. Entertainment's back on full form here at Disneyland Paris, which is great to see. 
Well, that's all for now then, here in Walt Disney Studios Park. We're gonna make our way to Disneyland Park next door now, have some lunch, and then we're off to see The Lion King this afternoon, which I'm looking Can forward to. You feel <laughs> oh, wow. <the> <laughs> Charlotte's a performer, there you got a crowd around here, fantastic. <laughs> Talking of shows though, you've also got a fantastic Frozen show just inside here that's well worth it. You can also meet the one and only Olaf in We've there as well. Sitting, but the queue's absolutely <laughs> massive. You'd love to have met him when you break, he's a big queue. I think I've met him before, just like briefly. Yeah, you'll see him in the parade he's again. He's a nice guy. There we go. Uh, and also along with that as well, you've got the like drawing experience in there, which is oh, good I fun, where you can draw. I absolutely love that, but it's a smaller space than Walt Disney World at this one. Yeah, it's still very nice though. It's very fantastic. Cool. I love that view there of the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. It's an icon. If that ever changed at this part, well, I don't think they will though. Oh yeah! <laughs> In the video, theme park worldwide on YouTube. That's really funny. Took him out. We oh no! <laughs> You're getting too carried away. I think you wanted to be in the vlog. It's all right. Oh dear! I love those moments. <laughs> Oh, it's always so wonderful when you walk back into Disneyland Park. Don't get me wrong, Walt Disney Studios really is starting to come into its own now. However, Disneyland Park is still the one, isn't it? Over there. Oh, <laughs> you love it. Right, we're going to get some lunch now. What time are we on? Quarter to 12. The City Hall clock just up there. We'll have to have a ride on the Disneyland Railroad later on as well, because I love that. Le Carousel of the Lancelot just over there here in Fantasyland and yeah we're gonna have lunch in Fantasyland today at a restaurant that I love at Disneyland Paris but never normally opens it's Toad Hall fish and chips it's only open on peak days it's just next to Peter Pan's flight down here and it's open today this is what I like to see viewers Toad Hall open go out to Disneyland in California you get a dark ride here in Paris you get a fish and chip shop but yeah I'm not complaining I love this it's open Oh, look at that. Two fish that you get in there as well. And all the chips for 12 euros. Yeah, I can't wait for this. I love it here. Charles just got some chips I'll just, just over there. Fries. Just a light snack for now. I'll get Very nice in here. But what I was going to say about Toad Hall, other than that was absolutely delicious. I wish it was a bit more reliable and open all the time. But yeah, that was great. I really I enjoyed that. I had a bit of Sean's fish and it was really nice. It's good you get two full fish. It's the most full I've felt since That's arriving at Disneyland though. Paris. Nice as well. I don't think the food's that great at Disneyland well. Paris. I've spoke about that over the years. However, that is really good in Toad yeah, Hall. the fish was good quality. Really enjoyed it. Uh, anyway, are you looking forward to the show? Yeah, I don't know what to expect, but I love the Lion King. Oh, Lion King at Rhythms of the Pride Lands. It's coming up next, so we're going to make our way to the theatre which is located in Frontierland. I uh, take a right by Big Thunder Mountain. It's right down the back just there. And we're going to go and watch the show. So we're down here now at the Frontierland Theatre. Yeah, a few years ago, this was completely refurbished. It used to kind of be an open theatre. It was covered over. Um, then they kind of boxed it in and made it a proper indoor venue. And yeah, I do really like it in here. We've got here about 40 minutes before the show. But of course, if you do want to, you can guarantee your place so you can rock up quite late to the shows. However, I don't think you need to. It costs about 13 pounds, 15 euros. It's a lot of money to do that, isn't it? Yeah, let's get here a little bit early. We've had lunch. Have a chill out in the queue line and enjoy the show. Yeah, so on a busier day like this, about 40 minutes before, and yeah, you're gonna get a good view. Let's go and see the show. We'll have some highlights over the next few minutes for you all.
Absolutely love that show. It's really high energy. There's so much going on. You've got the vocal performances in there. You've got the set design. You've got the acrobats. Everything about it is fantastic. It really is. I really didn't know what to expect with it, but I really enjoyed it. It was such a huge cast, and it was nice to, nice to not be just big character focus all the time. Yeah, it's great how you've actually got the singers and performers representing the characters instead of the costume characters out. It's fantastic. It's very different to the other Lion King shows at other Disney parks, and that's what you want. Different experiences. You don't want them to all yeah. Yeah, the that's the thing, you would travel around the world to visit Disney parks, you don't want everyone to be identical. Exactly, you want them to be different in their own way. Yeah, they really thought out of the box with that show, it's fantastic, not to be missed. And just want to say, entertainment at Disneyland Paris it's is really so top good. form. Everything we've seen has been amazing. Like you've got all the shows for the 30th anniversary, you've got the indoor shows like that, you've got the drone shows, fireworks, there is so much going on, there really is. It's a great time to be at Disneyland Paris. Back down here then on Main Street USA, where it's time for a trip around the park. On the Disneyland Railroad, it wouldn't be a visit to Disneyland without taking the Grand Circle Tour, would it? You also get one of my favourite views here from the Main Street Station. 
looking down there on Main Street USA, the castle, all the 30th decorations at the moment as well. It really is wonderful, gorgeous. There's something so magical about just standing in the station and watching the Disneyland Railroad arrive. Let's go and get on board for a grand total tour. Just to call it Main Street Station. We've got the lovely day over here for the Grand Canyon. Big Thunder Mountain looks amazing from over here as well. All the geysers. No Molly Brown at the moment, if you're wondering why I've not been on the riverboat. Always go on the riverboats, but yeah, it's closed for maintenance at the moment. There's a nice moose over there. We're going to stop here now in Frontierland. So one of the highlights of the Disneyland Railroad here in Paris is a trip through the show building of Pirates of the Caribbean. There it is. And you'll just spot Jack Sparrow down there. So they're not actually using the Fantasyland station at the moment, and I believe that's the same with Discoveryland as well. To be honest though, I don't really mind because it keeps the trains flowing more during the full circuit around the park. For your safety, please stay seated by the train. Keeping your hands and arms inside the train. And over it's a small world here. Yeah, not yet reopened, but will be soon. One of my main bugs about this train, as much as I love it, they always talk over the announcements and also the music as well. And you don't really get that on the Walt Disney World Railroad or Disneyland in California. We are in soon. This is the spell. It's passing through the Discovery Line station now. Oh, look at Orbitron down there. It's such an art piece, isn't it? As well as a ride, of course. Just underneath us, Star Tours. And Filler Magic as well. Great for on a rainy day, that one. An indoor. 4D cinema show, some great music. In the back of the show building, the hyperspace mountain there looks just as good from the back as it does from the front, doesn't it? And here we are, back to Main Street. <laughs> Over the past couple of days, we keep hearing this song, we keep catching Dream and Shine Brighter, and in fact we watched it again earlier on. It's fantastic and Charlotte loves it here. <laughs> she has got the moves. Rocking out Main Street USA in Town Square at Disneyland Paris 2023. It's like a music video this, isn't it? <laughs> right now, if we open up our eyes, we're ready for the ride. Wow! Oh, I love Charlotte's energy. Hey! <laughs> Brilliant, it's not just Charlotte with the moves here. Everyone loves that Disneyland Paris. There we go, this lady on the left, she's filming a lot. There we go, famous. 
I think she thought Charlotte was part of the parade there. That's funny. She was filming you, and I was filming her film you. <laughs> I'm a brand new place. Oh, look at Goofy getting everybody going. This is amazing back there. We did watch the full show as well yesterday to check out the day one vlog if you haven't already seen it. What an atmosphere. It's a right vibe down here at the back. Everyone's doing it. <laughs> It wouldn't be a trip to a Disney park without the railroad. That's why I'm so pleased that at Walt Disney World, the railroad's back open after like four years, and we'll get that very soon, I've hopefully. I've never been on oh, it. Oh, <laughs> stay tuned for future trip announcements. But I tell you what, it's always great getting back on there and coming back onto Main Street, and Charlotte's dancing just Honestly, there. Honestly, that is one of the best things I've ever seen at Disney. It is absolutely incredible. <laughs> Everyone is so happy, and you've just got to dance to that, haven't you? I loved Goofy at the end there as well, getting everybody going. Like, it was fantastic, that was. It was, it was amazing. Anyway, we're going to nip back next next door to Walt Disney Studios just to go and get on Cars road trip because it's five minute wait now and it is worth it for Car Catastrophe Canyon or the fire effect on there. You know me, I love special effects. So we're going to head over there and I think you're going to get some lunch, aren't you? Yes, I'm going to get an Earl's sandwich. Well, I say lunch, more dinner, more isn't it, really? Dinner, yeah, we're going to have some dinner um, over at Earl's sandwich. I'll have a quick look in Disney Village on the way and I'll show you an update there. There's a lot of construction going on. Back next door then and that's the great thing about Disneyland Paris. Both parks next to each other. Disney Village just out there as well, and all the hotels, yeah, it's all really nicely connected at this resort. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't wait earlier on when it was half an hour, but it's been a bit of a waste of time, that, because it's only five minutes now, and in fact, I think we'll be on this tram, actually. Cars road trip. And here we go on our road trip. Yeah, you're definitely best sitting right in the middle of the tram for the best views of Cartastrophe Canyon. Yes! I'm not gonna have to kiss a beat. I must be a dreaming. Pinch me, Guido. Okay. There we are then, making our way into the canyon. Dino Co truck up there. And this is why I say sit right in the middle of the tram. So you're in the best place to see this scene. This is fantastic. It used to be at Disney's Hollywood Studios as well back in the day. It's part of their tram tour there. Remember seeing that? But yeah, now it's unique here to Disneyland Paris. Oh, I love how the trap actually tilts. Very clever. I like a tilted platform. Oh. Looks like something's going wrong. Oh no. <laughs> Wow. Here we go. Whoa. Oh. Wow. It's an impressive scene, that. And it's iconic as well. That's Mater. There you go, he's built. The Eiffel Tower, out of loads of different bits there. Yeah, there's not much to look at around the rest of the ride. However, that scene, Catastrophe Canyon, really makes this. It's worth coming on for that. Enjoy that, Charlotte. I like that big scene. Yeah, it's not worth waiting 30 minutes for, but when you walk on, or 10 minutes or under. Merci d'avoir été des nôtres aujourd'hui. Pour votre sécurité, veuillez rester assis jusqu'à l'arrêt complet du tram. Prenez garde à l'ouverture automatique des portes. What a difference the day makes. The weather was so nice yesterday. And looks like we might have a bit of rain, but it is what it is. We're having a good time anyway, aren't we? It's a bit windy now, isn't it? It is. That was Cars Road Trip for you there. It's okay. The main bit's the best part about it. Yeah, Cartastrophe Canyon. That's really good there. There's a lot going on. I can't see it lasting a long time, that attraction, to be honest. Nothing else is really worth going on for. Yeah, maybe when the expansion opens, they might close that and do something else with it, maybe. to see that happen. 
Yeah, yeah talking about expansion, you can't really see it because they've actually planted some trees there now. But yeah, you're going to be able to see frozen land from here. It's going to look amazing. And actually, you're going to be taking out these two buildings. I say buildings, more just billboards here what are going to come down. And uh, yeah, there's going to be like a big compass on the floor here and this big boulevard going straight down to the lake. So I'm just really documenting this um, to kind of show you, you know, what it's like now. In a couple of years time, this part's going to expand all down there. It's going to be so good. Very different. I'm very much looking and as we mentioned yesterday in the vlog, there's changes coming to Studio One as well. Um, we've just filed permits for, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, but that's all for Walt Disney Studios. We're going to be heading back into Disneyland Park for the rest of this vlog after we've had some food up in Disney Village. And we'll have a little look at the construction going on up there because, yeah, it's a bit of a weird place at the moment up there in Disney Village. Well, I just wanted to start off by saying I am a big fan of what Disneyland Paris have done over the past couple of years with the new security check area. Much better than them tents that used to be there before, and there wasn't really that many of them. Now, it's a big permanent security area all the way across, and it's made it really nice and easy here now to get between the two parks. Um, it's fantastic. I'm really liking that. Hopefully, <laughs> Disney Village is going to be improved very soon. Well, we know there's going to be this renovation project, but right now, it's not great. They've took some walls down here. World of Disney's over over there it is open but you have to kind of go this way and round to get to it and yeah there's been some closures down here as well well there we go planet hollywood has officially left disneyland paris you can't walk up them steps anymore and have a nice meal we used to go every trip to planet hollywood i'll miss it planet hollywood was one of my favorite restaurants it was so nice it was really good so it was the themed experience of it that was fantastic we yeah, still got a net just over there I know Disneyland Paris is a 365 resort, but yeah, this really isn't the Disney kind of show quality that I'd expect. Like things just being painted over. They've actually took out the stage that was here before and they've just put this little grass area in with one single tree. There's some weird things going on at the moment around here. I hope it's worth it when it's done. Something that I do really like that they've done in Disney Village though is the Royal Pub. King Ludwig was always really good. However, I think this looks very nice out here. Before it was German themed, now it's a British style pub. You see you've got fish and chips and all that kind of stuff in here as well. Yeah, they've done quite a good job with this out here. So yeah, hopefully more of this to come. You've still got Billy Bob's down here as well, which is good. Starbucks, the Steakhouse, Rainforest Cafe as well. And yeah, unfortunately, Cafe Mickey has now closed. And yeah, that is being changed into a new restaurant that's set to open later this year. We'll take a closer look just down here. <laughs> look at this over here. Obviously, they're taking all the roof down at the top just here as well. Disney Fashion, that's closed. And yeah, Cafe Mickey now gone. And it's going to be a non-Disney themed restaurant coming there. The start of more of that to come, it seems. So we'll see what happens. Look at all the flooring. Like they took the crocodile out down here as well. Yeah, it really is in a mess around here. But Earl of Sandwiches here and Charlotte's never had one. Let's go and see the Earl. Here we are then. What have you gone for there, Charlotte? I went for the cannonball one. So it's like meatball, like cheese and then Mariana sauce. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it was just under nine euros for that just there. There you go. The question is, what does it taste like? Mm. <laughs> mm, it's nice. Good? Like a pizza. Yeah, it looks quite a good size for the price really yeah, as well. Fun. Yeah, it's all right that. Well, the rain has started to come down here at Disneyland Paris, but that's not going to stop us having fun, it's is it, Charlotte? It's starting to fill all the crowds out, which is good for us. It is. The ears have come off temporarily. Oh, no, rain. Yeah, you enjoy your sandwich, though. Yeah, it was okay. I wouldn't probably have one again, but I did enjoy it. You say you prefer a Subway, don't yes, you? Yes, Subway's them? better. Well, there you go. It's not a bad food option, though, for lunch or dinner here at Disneyland Paris. But yeah, hopefully the village will be better in a couple of years' time. Really needs to be. And anyway, we're back inside Disneyland Park for the rest of the night now and the rest of this vlog. Um, we're going to be staying tonight for Disney Illuminations, Disney delights and get on some more attractions I'm now as well to. it's gonna be a great afternoon and evening i love disney parks at night all the ambient lighting it really is fantastic the great thing about being at a disney park when it rains is quite a lot of people decide to leave the park especially here at disneyland paris and also you've got indoor attractions such as star tours the adventures continue so yeah, we're going to make our way inside now 35 minutes it was 10 on the app not long ago that's the thing when the rain comes down people want to head indoors but you may as well it's supposed to stop in the next hour so we're going to have a ride on here but we 
had our ride there on Star Tours after just a 30 minute wait. And yeah, it's perfect really on a rainy day to head into the indoor attractions. I do really like Star Tours, it's very re-rideable as well. You don't realise how much the ride vehicle actually moves, you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. If you've watched the Imagineering story on Disney Plus, there's a great episode talking about Star Tours and how far you really tilt back and yeah, we were amazing. When we saw it, we didn't realise it was that oh, like, far crazy. back. You kind of feel it when you're on there, but you don't realise. Only put a little bit of footage in uh, because obviously you can't see a lot on there with it being screen based and yeah, wearing the 3D glasses on there. But Disney have actually just announced a few days ago they're going to be bringing some new destinations and characters to Star Tours here and at Disneyland and Walt Disney World as well. It's so very yeah, exciting. always updating the ride, which is good to see. We're going to head up to Fantasyland now and do some more rides there. So we've come right down here to the back of Fantasyland and the Storybook Land area. It's beautiful down here and you've got two attractions, Casey Junior, the circus train, and the Pez de Cardifer. That's my awful pronunciation, but I do try my best. So we'll go on both of these. It looks very quiet. I think the rain's cleared the park out quite a lot. We've got our own boat. It's that quiet down here. I'll tell you what though, the book could do with some TLC. All the paint's peeling on there. Not very Disney. Yeah, that needs to uh, have some refurbishment work done to it. Loads of boats on this though. It's high capacity. So you make your way through lots of different fairy tale scenes just here. Which is very nice. So picturesque. And yeah, Casey Jr., the circus train, runs around the top just here as well. As we can see just there. Look how quiet it is around here. You wouldn't think it was Easter holidays. Not even raining now. Hey, there goes the train. Nobody on it at all. Look at that. Maybe they're just loading one train with it being so quiet. Oh, here comes the rain again. Yeah, I've got to say, oh, it's coming in. I've got to say, it's not looking good, this ride. It needs a lot of painting up and cleaning on here. Oh, it's coming down heavy now. Let's go and go on Casey Jr. in the rain. <laughs> it's got a cover at least. It's absolutely thrown it down here at Disneyland Paris. Yeah, we were still going to go on Casey Jr. But that's now gone down. Both the trains were actually stuck out on the track. So yeah, we thought, yeah, probably not worth waiting around for that. It's going to be a while. They might be e-backing. So we decided to take some shelter here at the Manhattan Tea Party and go on the teacups. Why not? Hey, we're on the teacups. <laughs> we're still having a magical time. <laughs> we're, a bit of rain. we're used to it. Hey. <laughs> well, they are here. To be honest, the weather's pretty similar here in yeah, France. So it's about going not that far away. They're very slow, these teacups. It's, to be honest, it's not really worth bothering to spin. Just enjoy the ambience. It's a nice night ride, this, actually, with all these lights at the top. They're not on at the moment, but yeah. I do like this. Teacups. Short cycle, though. About a minute you normally get on the flats at Disney. Oh, time to get the <laughs> I was looking forward to Casey Jr., but I don't think we're getting on that. It's one of the attractions that closed a little bit early down there as well. Well, we just had some pretty torrential rain here at Disneyland Paris, and the park has really started to filter out now, which is great news for us. I am absolutely safe. <laughs> <laughs> but it has meant we've got quite a few rides in just as well. Yeah, we've managed to go from ride to ride, which has been fantastic. Yeah, brilliant. We did Paris the Caribbean again whilst the rain was really coming it was down. So heavy, then we did Big Thunder Mountain. And got soaked. <laughs> And we didn't get soaked on Space Mountain, no, which is good. Indoors. Inside roller coaster. But uh, yeah, look at this. I actually think when you come here in the rain at night, all the lights reflect in the floor and it makes it even more beautiful. But yeah, the rain's been that heavy. I mean, Autopia's closed down here at the moment. I think Indiana Jones went down. It really hammered it down. Um, but yeah, I tell you what, it's not going to stop us enjoying the fun. There's still over two hours to go until park close and it's really quiet. We walked across Central Plaza and there was hardly anybody there, um, which is crazy. So yeah, a lot of people have left because of this rain. Disney parks at night are absolutely amazing experiences. In the daytime it's still spectacular, but at night it really takes it to the next level. No matter what Disney park you're in around the world out of the 12, all of them are great at night, and that does include Walt Disney Studios. <laughs> but yeah, look at this here. I love this water effect with all the lighting underneath down here at the entrance to Discoveryland. And the Sleeping Beauty Castle over there looking absolutely gorgeous.
I think the castle looks stunning with quite a moody sky behind it there as well. This is so colourful and happy. And you look at the sky behind it, it's so dark and grey. And it makes the colours on the castle really pop. On the penultimate nights of Disney Illuminations. Yeah, by the time you're watching this video, Disney Dreams is back. Unfortunately, we'd already planned our trip before we knew that that was coming back, which is a shame. We're missing it by one day, but it's an excuse to come back. And I'm sure it won't be going anywhere because it's a very popular show. Disney Dreams returns. Well, it wouldn't be a trip to Disneyland Paris without coming into the Christmas shop here, would it? Love the Christmas shop. 365 days a year. The festive goodness in here. Gingerbread. Mickey just up there as well. She's very nice. Got all your ball balls and other nice items in here. And this is inside the castle itself. Back over in Fantasyland then now, and the look at the back of the castle just there. And yeah, a lot of the park might have filtered out, but no matter when you come to Peter Pan's flight, it's always going to be busy. <laughs> 25 minutes though, a lot less than it normally is. So yeah, we're going to have a ride on here. Suspended dark ride, it's a Disney classic this one. I do quite like it, so let's go on. We've waited 25 minutes, let's go and ride. Here we go. Off to Neverland. Probably my cut off for Peter Pan's flight, and yeah, we waited 25 minutes there. It is a great ride, but it is really short in there, isn't the it? The zooming in there is really good. Yeah, I do like the effect as well of kind of flying over London, like all the little lights and UV effects. It's really good, it's very magical. I just wish Disney would sort out the capacity on there. They need to build like a boat on there that's like can seat 12 people or something. It just gets so big. <laughs> it does get very busy. Luckily, tonight, with it being quite quiet, we managed to get it in. I didn't think we would get it in, but uh, yeah, like half an hour's my cut off for that one. We're heading on to another classic Fantasyland dark ride now. It's Pinocchio. Advertised wait time 30 minutes. But I think it's more like 15 looking at it. So let's go on. And we waited 15 minutes for Pinocchio. Jump scare. Peppers Ghost. 
So I'm right footage there from Pinocchio. I really like that classic Fantasyland dark ride. Lots going on in there as well. And of course you've got Pleasure Island as well with all the great lighting in there. It's a fantastic scene. Making our way then round through Adventureland to a night ride on Big Thunder Mountain. Yeah, just thought I'd show you the big pirate galleon here, Skull Rock. Looks amazing at night with all the lighting. It is throwing it down again, so it's gonna be a wet ride. But yeah, I do like Big Thunder Mountain in the dark. Well, I've just seen empty seats going round on the ride. Five minute wait for Big Thunder Mountain on this very wet, rainy night at Disneyland Paris, but we're powering on, 13 hours in. Straight down here into the station for Big Thunder Mountain tonight. You all right there, Charlotte? I am so wet. <laughs> hey, you're gonna be even wetter now, let's go on. I don't know how much you're gonna see in this POV. It's gonna be cold and wet for me. But we're gonna take you along. That was absolutely brilliant. I do love Big Thunder Mountain at night. And in the rain, it was even more crazy. Look at it go, it was wild, it really was. And yeah, look at all the smoke there coming from Walt Disney Studios. The show was going on next door that we saw yesterday. Fantastic, so check out the day one vlog if you haven't already seen it. But yeah, look at all the smoke rising behind Phantom Manor there as well, and all the spotlights coming from the studios. How was your ride on Big Thunder, Charlotte? Oh, I absolutely love Big Thunder Mountain, and at night it's even better. Spectacular, isn't it? So good. This is going to sound really weird, what I'm going to say, <laughs> but I really like going on Phantom Manor at night. Is it because you come out at night and you go in at night? Yeah, I just really like the ambience of this queue line at night, and you also get some great views looking out at Big Thunder Mountain. Walk on, look at this. Still an hour to go until park close. Oh, yeah, going on Phantom Manor. I won't take you on this time because we did have a POV in yesterday's vlog but coming up shortly it'll be time for disney delight the drone show and also disney illuminations the penultimate showing before disney dreams returns now look at this the ambience walking around here beautiful big thunder mountain wow spectacular disney's best version of that attraction in my opinion. Well, I absolutely love Disney parks at night, and it might be raining, but you know what? We've made the most of it. We've got loads of rides in throughout We've the day. so much. And especially tonight, we've got round and got loads of rides. We've had a couple of rides on Big Thunder tonight with more Which queues. is really good. Absolutely awesome. As you can see, it is coming towards the end of our day two vlog here from Disneyland Paris. But if you haven't guessed already, from the lovely music in the background, we're back down here now on Main Street USA, ready for Disney Delight, which is the drone show on the castle. I'm really looking forward to seeing this. Yeah, this is for the 30th anniversary, and it's very 
impressive. It was my favourite use of drones until we saw the show next door, oh, which was, was amazing. So and check out yesterday's vlog if you haven't already seen it. Well, this is great because it's to the songs that we love as well for the 30th anniversary. And straight afterwards, Disney Illuminations, which, like I say, by the time you're watching this, it will have gone away. However, uh, I'm pleased about that because Disney Illuminations is still an impressive show, um, but there's so much better with Disney Dreams. Uh, but here we go, it's coming up now. Going to get in position here on Main Street USA and we'll bring you highlights over the next few minutes. from Disney Illuminations. We'll share our full thoughts in just a moment and of course wrap up the vlog. But first, let's head into the Emporium and have a look at the anniversary merchandise. 
And whilst we're here on Main Street USA, just thought we'd come and have a look inside the Emporium, which is the biggest shop inside the park. And yeah, you've got all the 30th anniversary merchandise in here. I do love the colour schemes, all the pink, purple, gold, looks very classy. These are a set of the years, but these tags really annoy me how long they are now. Yeah. They're just so long. <laughs> I do find that Disney Park is aren't the best anymore, so I do have a lot of custom made ones. But if you did want these ones, these are 23 euros. There they are. There's lots of great merchandise for the 30th anniversary and yeah, one of my favourite items just here. I think this idea originated over in Japan at Tokyo Disney Resort. We have for 15 euros, you can get the Mickey shaped soap dispenser just there as well. And yeah, I do really like that. A friend of ours has got that. <laughs> we love so it. Cool. It's great. I've also got the lounge fry bag. I know that these sold out, so there's loads back in stock now if you are coming. But these are 100 euros. I really like them. Charlotte's not See, a fan, I'm but... Not a massive fan of the design, but if you do want some, I've got them here. These are actually some of my favourite items from the 30th anniversary selection as well. It's like these little statues all in the colour scheme. And you get Mickey Mouse himself just up there as well. Which is fantastic. I don't know if this one's priced, but yeah, there's. That, I think that's worth it for what there is there, yeah, to be that's honest. really nice. Yeah, it's huge. Like, it's a great piece, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Bye, Mickey! See you soon! Well, that brings us to the end of our visit here to Disneyland Paris for the 30th anniversary celebrations. Might have been a bit wet today, but we still made the most of it. What do you think to Disney Delight and also Illuminations? Honestly, that was absolutely fantastic. Like my favorite songs, then seeing the 30 with the drones and the Mickey head. I really enjoyed that. It was something quite special. It's fantastic, isn't it? Like what they've done with drones throughout the 30th anniversary it's really fantastic. has been amazing. And I hope to see much more use of drones here at Disneyland Paris in the near future as well. And yeah, really of the drone show yesterday. Oh, so good. Check out that day one vlog if you haven't already seen it. We also do lots of other attractions and so much more. And then of course Disney Illuminations. That is now it for that show here at Disneyland Paris. And I can't say that I'm sad to see it go. It's still a great nighttime spectacular, but it doesn't blow me away like Disney Dreams did. So I can't wait to see that next time we're here again. It just doesn't really do it for me at all. So no. I'm not gonna miss it. <laughs> yeah, like, there's some really nice effects and the projections are great and the fountains and of course fireworks at Disney is always special. But for me, it's not got the emotion and storyline but yeah. I'm so glad that that's gone and Disney Dreams has come back here to Disneyland Paris shame we're not here for it but we'll be Reason back at some point back. yeah but uh, that was a final visit here for the 30th anniversary celebrations of course it ends in September you'll have a great time if you come in the entertainment's great it is so um, magical one of our favourite parts Dream and Shine Brighter oh, we love don't love we love that so much and all the music in that show as well love the music absolutely spectacular it really is but yeah entertainment's been on full form love the Lion King today as that well was really good obviously yesterday we saw Mickey and the Magician the parades there's just so Shows much going on, on. Top form. Disneyland Paris the parks anyway are looking fantastic really hope Disney Village improves soon like it, ne so. it needs that work um, but I tell you what we've had a great time thanks for joining us here at Disney <laughs> we always love coming to the Disney parks and we've got a full playlist from them all here on theme park worldwide and I'm sure we're back in a Disney park oh, before I'm the sure end of the year stay tuned with lots happening in Florida at the moment I'm sure we'll have to head back there at some point so stay tuned for some future announcements here on theme park worldwide well that's us all done for the 30th anniversary it's been a great celebration and look forward to return at some point maybe at the end of the year for Christmas possibly we'll see Not what happens sure. and of course next time we'll see more construction hopefully taking place on Frozen as Very well exciting. lots of exciting times here at Disneyland Paris but from the magic that leaves with one final thing to say get, get out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding we'll see you all in the next vlog